Mike and Mrs H brought in there by the beautiful music Morning Mood by Greg. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a bit uh, over the top. Isn't it? Good morning to you. Happy Wednesday. Happy midweek. Or what do some people call it? Hump day. Nothing to do with my name. But uh, anyway, we're heading back to the USSR today. Um, Alexi, many thanks. Uh, this is sent to me with the first uh, lot of razors he sent. Look at that little box. Beautiful, isn't it? And in that, what's the, this is called the Temp. Uh, 1989, I believe. I'll show you this now. There's the, that's how it comes in the case. Three piece. Uh, October, it says. I'm not sure if it's 1988 actually, maybe, but 89 is got on the website, so I'll do as I'm told, just in case. Oh, and let me show you this. He sent this, I don't know if I've shown you this. Uh, just bear with me. Look at that little badge, you can see it. There's something that Lexi sent. And that was the Moscow Festival from the Moscow Festival of 1985. Nice, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Lexi. Right, so nice case. Bit of history again. New old stock. Uh, get the get me out. That's what it looks like inside. This is the this is the razor, that's the head. Do you know, funny enough, I often think now, I thought these sort of long slots here, alignments, bars, were a modern thing. But not, have they? They've been, they've been around for years, by the looks of it. So that's the base plate, head, and that's the handle. Slightly engraved knurl in there. It's a nice, it's a light razor. And when you put it together, it's sort of head heavy. So to go with that, we're going to go with a Voskhod blade, of course. You can see there. This is its one, two, three, fourth use. Fourth use for the blade. So we'll see how that does. Go in, yeah, lovely. There we go. So what sort of a week are you having? There we go. A good one, I hope. There we go. Aligned nicely. There is overhang, you can see that, to be aware of there. Very nice, three-piece non-adjustable. Now this soap, we're gonna use a, it's called a Herban Cowboy uh, Dusk. There's nothing in this, is the box. Um, as any info of you on it. This was sent to me by Charles K many moons ago. Thank you, Charles, if you're watching this, if you remember. Um, so I've just got some water just with my hands on this, uh, and it's all gone to the bottom, but it's enough to bloom it. I'm pinching the mule shave mug because it fits nicely in there. Gorgeous scent. It's a very, it does remind me of something of my past. Again, I can't remember what. But it's, it's a very, it is a musky, woody, spicy, um, old classic. If you smell tea, you'd think, wow, that's from years ago. You know, one of these classics. And my father would love that. That's his type of woody, spicy, um, musky scent. And he likes, he'd like that. We're going with the, uh, the Yaki 22mm synthetic cola handle brush. You give it a so we can start lathering this up. But before we do, if there is any in it, we'll use a bit of pre yeah, there we go. Oh, normally thought we we'll use this as a bit of pre-shave. Now I've been I've had a couple of requests, and they of late I've done one. Um the other request, if you remember, was if I would do a disposable razor 
with Barbasol shade. Um, the reason for that, it was sent to me um, fr from the state saying that there's more and more of us coming this way into shaving, thankfully. But there's still a lot of men in America, I suppose, with a Barbasol, uh, Barbasol uh, using disposable razors and Barbasol as a daily shaver. And I'd um, like to see my thoughts on it. Well, I know my thoughts on it, <laughs> but I know what you mean. So I'm going to do it. Uh, and if anything, like he said, it makes you appreciate how lucky we are having these types of shaves. So I think it's a good thing, really, to go back to that. Um, and there's a bit of fun for the video, something different. Um, so that will be a week today I'll do that. Barbasol and a disposable, I have to buy some disposable razors now. Goes against the grain. <laughs> but it's all for, <laughs> I'll do it for the channel. Right. We'll see how this lathers up. Oh, straight away. Proper old school, this type of mug, isn't it? Cute there. Yeah. Herban Cowboy Musk. I noticed online they sell this in cream versions as well. Uh, you may have tried it. I have no idea. Doesn't take long. I tell you a good chap to watch for lathering. I like uh, Uncle L Shaves, if you're watching. Uncle Laurie, how are you doing in Australia? Um, I was watching one of your videos the other day and I like the way you put the camera directly above as he lathers. Uh, see the whole process adding water. He speeds it up, but you can see what he's doing. Good. Good that. Go and check it out. I'll put a link to his channel underneath. Nice chap. I think. I think that'll do it. Yeah, that should do. Look at that. Okay. Gorgeous scent. Love scents of it. USSR. It's a couple of years before it became Russia. Rus Russia Federation. In 1991. Lathers up nicely. Is it a bit of a dissipator? I'm not sure, we'll see. We'll see, so I'm gonna use the uh, the temp, T-E-M-P in English. Heat, heat the temp up, get the temp up. Another head, washcock blade, fourth use. Small razor, first pass, here we go. So straight off, I can tell that's a nice blade still. Cutting straight through. That's a mid to aggressive. We'll see, oof, whiskers everywhere. We'll see if that changes during the shave. You having a shave? Have you had a shave? Um, Paul, if you're watching, Paul Major, you asked me on my other channel. Uh, you, I think you're new to this way of shaving. And I think you've had a few uh, issues or something. Um, and you said, would I do a series on beginners? Hmm. 
Now, a few years back, I did a couple of videos, I think, on beginners and stuff like that. If you want to check my channel out. Um, but the only thing I will say, if you're transitioning from, well, anything electric, uh, multi-blade cartridge razors or these disposable razors, that's nice slickness. That's a lovely scent, that. Not a strong scent at all. But um, nicely present. Yeah, if you're transitioning, there's a bit of a dissipator this. Is it a, a natural or vegan or something? I don't know what is the ingredients. You've got to keep it moving. Um, the one thing I would say is get a something like an Edwin Jagger, nothing major in, in razors, a medium uh, standard aggression. Buy a multi-branded sample packs, different brands, because you don't, I can't tell people say, what's the best blade for this razor? What's the best blade for a beginner? It's different for everybody. It's so shaving is so personal it's unbelievable even everything looks the same it's so different for everybody it can be your water your lather your blade your skin type your beard um, anything but i would start off with a standard razor edwin jagger something like that even a wilkinson sort of classic um, I think the older black version was better, it's a, it's a milder razor. Different blades across the growth. It is a bit of a dissipator, this, but very slick. Very nice razor to handle. If you like small razors, there's no issues with the grip. It's a, there is a slight grip there. But um, nothing, oh look, already, we're weeping. Yeah, so multi-blade, multi-blade, multi-brand sample packs. You have to try them. That's the only way you can find out what works for you. Um, pre prep is more important in a shave. So a hot shower, if you can. Or a hot water wash, uh, a pre-shave of soap, pre-shave uh, like I did then, anything, oil, pre-shave oil, anything like that. Prep the skin, lather up. And this is important, I learned this. And anything I tell you is what I've learned myself, not a know-all. As you know, I'm not an expert. Um, oh, wow, yeah, lovely slickness. Nice scent, nice slickness, I wish. But not a very good lasting lather. Uh, then when you come to shaving, don't shave like anything you've used. It's, uh, it's a blade. Just touch the skin. You'll find your angle if you go down slowly and you think, well, it's not cutting. Just alter it. Try again. And when you feel that, you'll feel it's cutting out, you'll know that is your angle. Light touch. You're not out to get it all off with one pass. Light and slow. You're better off transitioning, in my opinion, when you've got time, not when you're rushing to work. Or, you know, on the weekend, when you're off, if you've got kids, when they're with their mum or whatever, or their, well, I was going to say with their dad then. <laughs> Free will. But when everybody's out, you've got a bit of time to yourself and then uh, you can take your time and enjoy it. Because if you rush it and cut yourself, you put yourself off and you may not do it. And it is a good, it is a good way of shaving, you know. But practice. And you've got to have patience. You've got to have Patience, and I say that because some people take it straight away, no problem. 
like they've been shaving for years. Others take weeks, months, because your skin has got to get used to it as well. And that's where the prep comes in. Light touch. Even if you think, oh, it's not cutting there. That's where you do two passes, three passes. That's the next thing. Don't think you have to do three passes or pickups. If you've got tender skin, if you feel a bit, one pass. And if you feel like I could do another pass, maybe do across the growth and then leave it at that. Uh, if you think you can go on, carry on to do three, but you know, play it by ear. Look at this. So Shana, mind you, you're not supposed to stand there talking here, but it should last a bit longer than that. That's a thicker pasty, rather. Here we go, against the growth. Listen to that. Using the uh, USSR temp. Razor. I'm going to put the Etsy shop, Slacer shop, I called, in the description. And don't forget, if you go and have a look, that's fine. If you buy anything, going through my link, you'll automatically have ten percent added to your at the checkout, if you know what I mean, without having to do anything. As long as you go through the link. I'm not affiliated, I'm not paid, anything like that. He's just kind enough to give the, the discount, you know, he's glad of the business. And um, he's got good customer feedback. Good customer service. This is quite an aggressive razor. Um, well, especially, as you can see. I would say it's uh, probably, it's around, you know, like the, um, oh, what can I say? Something like the Yuma, if you remember that razor. A type of feel to it. Yeah, you can certainly, uh, you can certainly feel it. But if you would take any advice from me, I would say that's the most important thing I have ever learned is light touch and patience. You, th you might think I'm going fast but you learn your speed naturally. There's no rush, there's no race, because you won't never win. The razor will always win. But if you respect it, it'll respect you. So I hope that helps, Paul. Or anybody else? Right. Lovely. Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Very slick. And a gorgeous old classic. Oh, I love it. Classic scent. Don't take advice from me. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Pick up time, baby. And I noticed Libby and Sasha, if you're watching, and Carl and Claire, <laughs> you did your neck brace much better than me. Thank you. They sent me a little video on Instagram. Two girls, Libby and Sasha. Oh, no, was it? I won't be in work today. Why not? 
I've done me neck in. <laughs> I'd be locked up. Me, I should be locked up. Right, here we go, look at this. Yeah, so this, I've stepped this up from mid to aggressive. To aggressive. That's a little tiger, doesn't it? Didn't look here. Very lighty. Still cutting. Yeah. You can't get no closer than blood. Beautifully, wow, cold water rinse. Yeah, so uh, Alexi's, um, oh, I'm going to put it back, is based in London, so, um, you know, as I say, if you buy anything, it's 10% off, and I think it's free postage to the UK, so, not bad, is it? So, I'm going to go with a bit of sandalwood, Humphreys Witch Hazel, which I made sandalwood into sandalwood by adding the essential oils. And it's, oh, it's a nice match. Yeah, so I'll be having a good week. And some nice shaves. And then we're going to go to Superdrug. Aftershave Lotion Forest Fresh. This, as silly as it may sound, is a good match. Not the same, but it's it's just one of those go well together type thing. Oh, that is my dad would love that. You might see a hand come down in a minute from it. Right. If you're new to this channel, welcome to the channel and thank you for 18,000 subscribers. It's just turned now. Thank you so much. And welcome, uh, this, this channel's grown far more than I had ever, ever thought because it, it wasn't, I didn't create this channel in order to become big in subscribers or views or anything like that. Um, as I said before, I was only started as a one-off, really, to um, to Steve Farragher, but uh, it, I'm glad I did it. Things that you don't plan seem to work. <laughs> if I'd have planned this channel and wanted it to work, it probably wouldn't have done. But uh, I'm very pleased, so thank you so much for your support. It really means a lot, that. Um, I was going to say, and the reason, yeah, if you're new to the channel, if I, you've seen me doing this sometimes after the aftershave, my dad did it. When you put the aftershave on and you see him doing that with his shirt. And I just do it out of habit now in his honour, really, in case you're wondering. Gillette, we're going to go with that today. Quite a thin one, this. But it's lovely. That is lovely. So a quick rerun, I'll leave you to it. We've used the USSR 1989 new old stock, three piece, non-adjustable, temp, T-E-M-P. 
uh, razor comes in a lovely case, unique case. I love stuff like this. Um, history. Uh, very light, head heavy, nice to manoeuvre uh, and to handle, give a good shave. It's aggressive. Um, on the entry level of aggression, it's like the humour. Um, not as bad as a fat heap or anything like that, but um, is an aggression there uh, to be careful of. Uh, but it's very nicely, does the, this is a few specs here, but nothing major, but it's a really close shave and nice. Enjoy that. We use the Herban Cowboy Musk Shave Soap. I must try the cream, actually. Um, lovely soap, easy to lather, good scent, excellent slickness, dissipating lather. Um, but it didn't spoil the shave, it's still, and it was an aggressive razor, but it did its job. So um, that's the only downside to that soap was the dissipation of the lather for me. Uh, but otherwise, fantastic. Scent was gorgeous. The Yaki 22mm cola bottle handle, or cola handle, um, synthetic knot, beautiful stuff. We had Welsh water to rinse. Thank you, Paul. Another Paul. And uh, Humphreys witch hazel, which I made into sandalwood. Scent, scented. The Superdrug Forest Fresh Aftershave, nice stuff. The trouble with these aftershaves, they're not expensive, they're lovely, but they don't last. But what can you expect for the price? Um, and then we've used some Gillette Aftershave Balm. And that's it. So many thanks. I'll put all the links I can to uh, below, to check below. And um, have a great rest of the week. Some good shaves. Look after yourselves. And many thanks again. Uh, and I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. All the best, and bye-bye.